Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. When you when you um when when he was down there and he gets ready to come home, you know, I know now this is where the celebration begins, but I know it's hard as y'all go through it. Oh yeah. Um Bumpy did a splendid job doing the Free the Pimp C campaign, yeah. man. You didn't know it was that big until after it was over. I but knew he I was liked doing it. it. I, I seen it. it. I seen I loved it. it. I seen it and I, I respected it. He was going hard too. He was going hard. He was ripping he was everybody. Hard. Everybody was trying to get him on verses and everything. Everybody was else. getting it. And, and, but, but every time he ripped them up. Yeah, and Free Pimp <laughs> yeah, C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Free Pimp C was killing them, man. Yeah. The t shirts, everything. It, it was just on point the way he done that. And I always, I always think about that time because that was a time in itself where, and then I felt so bad when Pimp passed because I knew it was like a double whammy to burn because he already had went through oh, so much, man. I thought about that as well. You did, did Oh, you? my God, yeah. You, and you can kind of hear it in that next, uh, what is it, not the trilogy, but that two trill album? Yeah. But he wasn't passionate on that. No, album. no. He, he even not, alluded to it on, on he, that yeah, show. Like, yeah, he was it was tough passionate. on everybody, man. Oh, my and, God. But like I said, for him, the way he was campaigning for it and then to not see it come to fruition. Yeah. Cause he had already, I know no. in his mind, he he could see this big picture happening. You don't know. I had just come back. I was going through a divorce at that time, right? Mm -hmm. And I called him and I said, "Say, I'm going through a divorce." Blah blah blah. He said, "Oh man, why the fuck that bitch." You know, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> come on down here with us, Bobo. Da, 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 da. I said, "Well, man, you know, I gotta. I always used to take my vacations from the car dealership." Um, First week of October because of the fair. Yeah. I always did. Yeah. And he said, come on down. And so he said, I'll, you, you can stay at the uh, my high rise on West Timer. I'll leave the keys for you at the front desk. So I went down there. And um, when I got there, he was still there. Come on upstairs. He was still there. So we went to Port Arthur. I stayed in Port Arthur like two, three days. You know, that was an adventure. Wow. You know, yeah, that was an adventure. I got the Live, uh, stay, sleep on his couch for two, three days, and Queenie, not Queenie, I'm true. No. Hey, Queenie. <laughs> yeah, man, that's bun. <laughs> yeah, uh, Shannara. Yeah. Shannara uh, drove me back to Houston, and so that's when I stayed at the high rise. Then I hung out with Bun and Queenie after that. Wow. But it was, uh, that's when he gave me the uh, the shirt, a yeah. couple mm -hmm. of other trinkets yeah. and things mm -hmm. like that. And then fast forward to um, Thanksgiving. So that was October, and I can, uh, bro. <laughs> The stuff, bro. Let me. The ask. stuff that he was telling me and playing for me, and the phone calls he was taking in front of me. This is what he was planning before Drake. He was planning a, a double CD. Okay. Half rap, half singing. See, Chad stayed away from that singing. Yeah. Early in 92, yeah. 93, yeah. 94, 94. Yeah. He didn't like that. I heard him say something about his high pitched voice. He, didn't he really did like not it. like For some reason, he just didn't like didn't singing. Like yeah. And I remember when he sung, a lot of people didn't know that that was him singing on uh, Having Things. Yeah. And then I when did. I, you know, before I the video yeah. came out, and I said, bro, that's. That thing was hard, oh, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. He, he, I don't know why he shied away from that so much, but by that time he had embraced it. He had started to embrace it. Mm -hmm. So he was going to do a song that was going to be produced by Timberland. This is what he's telling me. Okay. Produced by Timberland, him and Justin Timberlake. Hey. Was that going to go to the hemisphere? Man, come on, man. That thing will still be rolling right now. And he told me, he said, Bobo, I want you to quit your job. He said, come on back down here with me. We're about to hit this road. I got a radio show. Because I, you know, I had that Dirty South Block Party. I don't know. We was doing that for eight and a half years. And I had already, because of the divorce and everything that I was going through, I was planning on retiring because I you know, I had two daughters at that time, so I got to play that. Yeah, yeah, And it yeah. was on Saturday night from 10 to midnight. I'm like, who going to watch my kid? That's it. You know, so I'm a single father at that time. I'm planning. Planning this all out. So um, he said, I got a radio show. And I never met this gentleman. But he said, it's going to be you. You're going to control the boys and... Pimp C and Lil Duvall, and it's gonna be on XM. Hey, wow. I said okay. So he comes down for Thanksgiving. We do the show at um, Blue. Okay. You know we chop it up. We stay together. You know, and he he was supposed to come. You know, stay with me at my house that night. And then he said, "No, nah, uh, some 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 soft sort of showed up for him. He wanted to stay at yeah. the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so he stayed at the hotel. And um, eight days later. You know, I mean, come on. Yeah, it yeah. was just yeah. The, so. That that was that, that was crazy. Yeah, and, and, and he and I were see. Chad was. I did the first interview with him out of jail on the radio. 
I think I heard that. I listened I to it. I listened to it. Man, we got some classic interviews. The most classic one we, was we the one the where he's standing outside by the fence. I'll show you some pictures from that night. Yeah. But we did some interviews, man. Oh, class. They on uh, YouTube? YouTube, yeah. They on YouTube. Uh, some people recorded and they, they uploaded it on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he would just call me anytime he wanted to vent. And he'd be like, Bobo, I want to da 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 da. And he'd get on, I let him get on the air and just do his thing. He, he did that twice before he did the Atlanta interview. Yeah, I heard that and one he too. That is, he did one where he really went off on Skip Cheatham. It's on uh it's I on think YouTube. I heard the one tonight. I listened to that one yeah. before or earlier today. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.